everybody today i'm going to be taking a look at this plastic welding gun so what's cool about this welding gun is you're going to be able to do some troweling cutting uh, put some little hot staples and things like that uh, into big pieces of plastic small pieces of plastic things like that this is going to be amazing for doing plastic repair especially say automotive bodies like uh, bumpers and things like that so let's go ahead take a look at what comes in the package here and give it a try so taking a closer look at the plastic welding gun, you're going to get this really nice carrying case and you can flip up these little clips here. That's going to make sure nothing falls out. So first thing you're going to get, obviously, is your instruction manual. This is going to show you a lot of the little techniques on how to use the uh, little staples here and everything like that. So you're going to get four of these staples or four sets of these staples, each with 100 each. And I will go into a little more detail on how to use these. You get this razor knife. You're going to get the little clipper here. And this will be used to clip the ends off of the staples. And then you get the plastic welding gun itself. Um, the plastic welding gun also comes with this little piece right here, which will be used for um, basically kind of melting plastic or also cutting the plastic. So you would just attach this on this end, turn the unit on give it a little trigger action and you can start heating it up and doing whatever you need to do with the plastic. So one cool thing about this welding gun is it is 100 watts. So you're gonna get a lot of current through here. So here's a closer look at the different staple types you get. You have these corner staples here and you can see these will be good for going in at a 90 degree angle and basically welding two pieces of plastic together. You have this uh, kind of a W shaped corner staple. You have these flat staples, which would be good for um, basically kind of flat areas or longer pieces. And then you have these wave staples, which would be really good for basically putting two pieces of broken plastic back together. So you can see this end here is cracked as well. And because of the way that this is cracked and it's kind of in this corner, I'm going to try to put a staple right across here to kind of hold everything together and then use the trowel to come back through and smooth everything out. So when you're working with the staples, you want to make sure you use a pair of pliers or the included wire cutters. And this is going to help prevent any kind of burns that you may get from touching the hot end here. So we got our piece aligned. Go ahead and pull the trigger. It starts heating up. You can see the heat obviously coming through. Go ahead and push that in. You don't want to push all the way through. And what you're going to do is let it cool and then pull it out. And you can see here that the staple melted in and it's fusing all of the plastic back together. So when I let go here, you can see that everything is held together, but we obviously need to come back through and help strengthen all of these other pieces. So this is the other side and I don't really care how this looks as long as it all stays together, but basically go ahead, take your trowel here, heat it up. You can see it start to smoke. And then basically just go ahead and smear across it. And this is going to help smooth and kind of weld all that plastic back together that cracked. And you can see it's doing a really nice job kind of smoothing it out. And obviously if you're going to be using this on a bumper or fenders or things like that that are plastic, you're going to be able to go back through and do some Bondo and things like that to kind of really finish off the work. This is more of just a mechanical fix to make sure that everything is not cracking when it's put back on a car. So now we have the front all troweled across. And if you look at the back, we have the staple in here holding everything together. And before we could see daylight all the way through this crack here, we can't see that anymore. So, so I had this bucket crack on me and I wanted to see if the welder could fix it. And you can see here really easily, just kind of troweling back and forth, all the little bits and pieces here. Uh, very easily done. You could also put a little staple in there if you had some support. And here, a little uh, plastic toy broke. The wheel fell off. And I'm just troweling all of the little plastic back. So you can see here, the tool has some real versatility with being able to have automotive applications. Just fixing buckets that broke in the yard. And then you also have toys that you can fix. Plastic toys. So you don't have to throw these out. So overall, I think it's a pretty versatile tool. Definitely something that you want to keep in your garage um, for fixing a lot of different things and many, many different applications.